Hey guys, welcome to Drupal Learn. Today we are going to see how to use Media Entity Download Module in Drupal 9. Let's go ahead and get started. Search Media Entity Download Drupal. So, what is this module is used for? This mainly serves two purposes. One is to force download files such as PDFs and other documents. And the other thing is it doesn't care about the URL. In the sense, no matter how many times you replace or edit a media file, it will download the latest up-to-date file. So let's go ahead and get started. Fire up the terminal and install module let's go to the page uh, let's choose a node and before that we need to add some few media files so let's go ahead media add media and choose document Click in document, let's add Drupal, let's add one more file, document, WordPress, okay, we'll leave it this, any content, go to pick around, then let's see if the module is done. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and enable the module. Let's enable the module. Let's check the documentation. So in order to link to the media, according to their docs, it should be of the format media, media ID, and then slash download. So let's choose the node, edit it, and then let's add a link here. Let's say download Drupal. Let's make this a link. Go ahead and click on the link icon. And according to that documentation, it's download slash. Is slash media slash ID slash download. Let's check the media ID here. It's one. So let's replace the ID to one. Click and save. Now, if you hover over this, yeah, it says media one slash download. Click on Drupal. It will actually automatically download the Drupal file PDF. Now, let's just say you wanted to update an existing media, which in case we are doing removing this instead of Drupal, we are uploading wordpress so as you can see it will go underscore zero but the id remains same the name will keep on changing now let's update this so as there is an existing name you can see this is appended with a zero now let's edit the same and check it out refresh the page Now clicking on the same will actually download the WordPress. So this is how media entity download module works. Thanks for watching guys.